What's up everybody? Thanks for watching today, baby. So today I got a new car. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me say that, but oh well. So I got a new car um, on trade in last night. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, what I've got and what my plan is with the car. Um, we'll go over the details and prices as well, as far as like what I paid and what I'm gonna put it up for. So I think this one will sell pretty quick. So here it is. You guys could probably see my breath. It's that damn cold in here. So I just took this in on trade last night. So it's a 2013 Chevy Cruze LT. And I was really surprised that it has almost everything that the LTZ has. I kind of thought it was an LTZ at first. It has the bigger custom wheels. Um, it has the sunroof. It has... Let me show you. Just give you guys a look. look how dirty this thing is. Oh boy. She filthy. So I think this car is going to clean up really good though. So it has a sunroof, four brand new tires. Oh, I love that I don't have to put tires on it. But it looks good already. I mean, it's a clean car. I mean, it's dirty, but you can tell it's going to clean up nice, is what I mean. So. Yeah, most LTs that I've seen, they don't have anything like sunroof. They don't have leather. I mean, look at that interior. Black heated leather interior. I mean, it's pretty loaded up. Let's see if I have a key on me. So this one has... The mileage shows up. So it has the whole MyLink thing. I, get, I think this is new for this year. So heated seats, look, they even left this. I don't know if they're gonna want that back. But yeah, it's really nice in here. The interior doesn't need anything. Maybe spray off the floor mats. But 91,000 miles, OnStar, all the sunroof crap. Yeah, it's a nice car, remote start. <clears throat> so really the only thing I need to do other than give it a good bath and a scrubbing, I mean, this thing's filthy. Ugh. Nasty. <clears throat> you can tell right here, it's leaking <clears throat> pretty decent. <clears throat> oh my goodness, excuse me. And right here as well. So this is just a valve cover gasket. <laughs> it's funny, the customer is like, nope, no leaks. Um, and as the car was running, I could see it dripping out right here. It was literally just dripping out. Surprisingly, it sat overnight in my garage and there was no leaks on the floor. I mean, and like I said, I could it was dripping so bad that I could see the drip coming out of the engine. So this engine bay is really nasty looking. <clears throat> I mean, look at that crap. It's just, ugh. All this crap, I don't know if I can get, she's looking pretty dusty in here. So I'm gonna, um, I actually, what I did, <laughs> These were a little bit, I thought that they were a little bit loose. So I tightened them up just a hair, just went around to see um, if that fixes it. I mean, you can see the oil right there. That's, oh, I think there wasn't a picture right there. It, it was dripping out here and over there. So I'll go hose it off. Um, if it still drips after that little uh, mini tighten up I did, then I'll just replace the valve cover gasket. I'm sure that's like 10 bucks. So this is the 1.4 liter turbocharged engine. Uh, but yeah, other than that, the car doesn't need anything. I'm just gonna give it a bath, clean out the engine bay, and uh, maybe clean off those floor mats and shine her up. And then I need to go get the emissions done on it today. Okay, so let's get to the pricing. So I paid them $4,000. I gave them a $4,000 credit towards that Honda Accord um, that you guys seen, the gray one. And that's right at about MMR, which is the average auction price. And that's not taking into consideration the good condition of the car. So the way I'm looking at it, that is a really good deal for this car, 90,000 miles, fully loaded. And uh, NADA value is 7,500. So I'll probably end up putting it up for like 69.95, and I'm sure it'll sell quick, you know, $7,000. 
this thing's gonna clean up real nice. So yeah, I should make about 3,000 on this car. So that's always nice when you can spend 4,000 and almost double your money. There's one little ding right here. You can see it. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's it on the whole car from what I can tell. We'll see when I get it cleaned up, but. All right, I'll make a video after I clean this up a little bit. All right, here she is, finished product. Woo wee. So I just did a quick cleanup on the inside, even though it didn't even really need it. Just a little quick dust. This car is clean. <laughs> even cleaned the door sills, they were kind of dirty. Oh yeah, did some tire shine, even though you can't really see in this see it in the video. This thing cleaned up real good, guys. This car is really clean. Those door seals all clean. Ooh, you can eat off that stuff. <laughs> so there was like some road grime that wouldn't come off. I used a magic eraser just. Magic eraser, if you guys use it, be careful on the paint. Some paint doesn't like it, and if you push hard and rub it for too long, it can start messing up your paint. So you gotta really be careful with magic eraser, but it works so good at getting like stuff that won't come off in the car wash. Look at this engine bay. Ooh Looking real good now. So what I use in the engine bay, and I actually use the same thing on my tires, so. You can get this at any, like, you can either order it online or like any detail shop or anybody that sells detail materials will have that. And it's, it's like high quality. Um, let's see, where's my brush? So I just put that in a spray bottle. Okay. And then just get a brush like this. So you'll spray some coats on the brush and then you can go around your tire and it gets the tires really good. And the stuff lasts for a while too. Um, you can also get down here on these under parts of the car and then you can do it on your entire, on your whole engine. So I'm gonna set the phone down real quick. So you guys can see this. So I'm just gonna put a couple squirts on there and then you'll just go over the engine just the brushes get in there and get get everything really good. So I didn't get this part yet. So I'll just kind of show you what it does. I mean, look at that shine. And the shine will last quite a while too if you get if you get good shine. So that's how detailers I most of them do it like this. Look at that difference from there to there. Looks all nasty. So that's how I do the engine bay. I did take it to the car wash and I hosed out very carefully. I would not, if you're not a mechanic and you don't know what is what in the engine bay, I wouldn't probably recommend doing that. Um, but I pretty much just sprayed off these, sprayed off the dirt off of this stuff and a very quick blast right through here. Um, and I put some uh, brake parts cleaner where the oil was leaking so it could kind of clean that up. And now I can keep an eye out and see if I see any fresh drips, but it looks good so far. And then I just use this brush right on here and all this stuff. And you can hit the brush with anything pretty much and it will shine it. But this is all I really did. So these brushes are great for that and using, using them on your tires. So some people use it. Um, I did get up here right here, this little part already. Use it right here. You could get up here if you wanted to. And it, once that fully dries, it's gonna be like, it's gonna look good when it's dry. But look at that difference. It just makes it look good and fresh over here. And you can get, you can use this stuff wherever you want on any of this plastic stuff. Just wanted to kind of show you guys how I touch up the engine bays. But yeah, if you're not, if you don't know what you're spraying in the engine bay, you really gotta be careful around the electronics, um, the sensors, 
spark plugs, spark plug wires, fuel injectors. You really got to be careful and try not to get that stuff at all. And computer stuff, you can really mess things up if you go just hosing down your engine bay with a pressure washer. So do not do that unless you cover the important stuff and you know what the important stuff is. Um, otherwise, just use like... I don't know, a hand towel and a water sprayer and just wipe it all down before you do this. And that's pretty much it, guys. So she's ready to go. I filled her up with gas. Um, I got the emissions done. This car is ready to go. I'm going to put it online tomorrow for $6,995. And I don't think this car will take long at all to sell in this condition. It's in great condition. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.